Namaste guys. So in this video, we are going to learn how to make this animation in Blender. So it is a scissor lift mechanism. This file is given by one of my subscribers and he want to know how to do this animation in Blender. Okay. So he just basically given me the file, but he just want the animation, but he doesn't know how to approach it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to approach this kind of problem. Okay. So let's see how to approach it so first press 3 on your numpad okay and let's go to the frame one so first thing that uh, arises in your mind or question that how we can do the animation or rigging so if you if i click on here you can see my armature design okay so we are going to make something like this so first select this armature and click on delete okay because i'm not going to use that select this one press x and delete uh, it goes down here so don't worry about it we will fix that onwards now shift as cursor to the world origin okay so whenever you start uh, or your rigging or animation so first thing you will notice that this thing is at the origin okay and you need to move this cursor to a place where you want to place your armature so in my case i want to place my armature here so how, how can i do that so first like this one press tab by pressing alt shift i can select these faces okay and make sure that you are in face mode now press shift as cursor to be selected now press 3 on your numpad press tab to exit after that go to the armatures uh, go to add armature now go here and click on in front now press r and rotate it press tab to go to the edit mode press g and move it here after that press e extrude it and place this armature try to place it at the center of the or uh, center of it okay uh, you don't need to be highly accurate but if you want then you can use selection to the cursor method okay as per your requirement now press e again and press along y axis after that select this armature right click on it go to the parent and make it clear click on clear parents okay now go to the pause mode select this one and this one press ctrl shift c click on inverse kinematics select this one press g y here you can see uh, i got this awesome look now what i can do is press tab go to the object mode select this okay and let's just go to the edit mode press a press shift d press g and z and move it downward until we got a perfect location okay here you can see it perfectly aligned now a question arises uh, how to do the animation and rigging part so before we, uh, i approach to go there or go that place first thing i have to do is i have to do something uh, about this armature uh, you see if i for example if i select this and press g y okay i have to select uh, go to the post mode first and select this one press g y as it go upward so this one will also move upward and i want this move to be upward in z uh, in z direction so this is a difficult task okay uh, i know some people will not get it so let me show you what i mean so go to the edit make sure that you uncheck the slow object modes select this one and select this one by pressing shift now press ctrl p click on bone Similarly, select this one and select this one. Press Ctrl P, click on bone. Now, if I select this bone, press G, Y, you can see it is moving up and down. But the bone, these bones are not moving up and down as G, Y, as they are going upwards. So, I need to do something so that when this thing go up, these bones will also go up. So, what I can do? So, select this bone, uh, select this object press tab click on divide icon on your numpad select this face press shift as cursor to be selected after that click on divide icon and press 3 
now go to the object mode click on add click on empty and click on plane axis and press f2 and give it name uh, look loc because it is basically means location because i'm going to control the locations of these bones okay so select this uh, select this bone okay uh, and go to the bone constraints click on copy location click on type empty uh, loc sorry loc and what i want to copy so basically i want that it copy x uh, sorry it copies z and the y location so i will uncheck the x okay so let's see if i select this press g y and it moves okay but it is not moving uh, the reason is that i doesn't basically parent it to with with this one so first thing i have to do is go to the object mode select this bone and this bone and this object press ctrl p click on object after that select this armature go to pause mode press 3 select this one press g y and you can see it is moving upward and downward but here is another thing that if i try to move it now this bone is not moving so what i can do is click on here click on add board constraints click on copy location but in this case i am going to only copy the z movement okay not the y one so go up here select this one press i location and go to the 50th frame press g y minus 0.5 okay and enter press i and click on location similarly select this one click on i location go to the 50th frame press g y minus 0.5 but here's the thing that is uh, this one is doesn't move upward so go here type loc okay and type i location okay now one thing we have to do is left is that we need to attach these objects with bond so what i can do is select this one and select this one press ctrl p bond now select this one uh, select this one and this one press ctrl p bond so go to press number three if i click on play uh, you can see it is moving uh, it's give me a light animation now how what about this one so what we can do about this so what i can do select this one press 3 uh, go to the constraints uh, i already use copy location so go here and type loc so you see it already uh, automatically placed here and make sure that use offset is on because this chances that your offset is not at correct place so you need to place it uh, at, at as per your requirement so if i click on play you can see i'm getting cool animation let's hide the armature because it's look ugly okay so in that way you can make this animation okay uh, it is not you know quite difficult it is easy one uh, not a difficult thing it uh, it took me five to ten minutes to figure out how to do it so it's not a big deal anybody can do it so i hope you learned something from this video uh, if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe the channel to motivate us uh, and thanks for watching and have a great day namaste